I'm Miss Mary, and I'm here today to share a couple books with you. But first, I wanted to ask you a couple questions. Do you like sports? Have you ever played different sports? There are lots to choose from. There's basketball, football, tennis, soccer, lacrosse, but the favorite of my household is baseball. There's lots of equipment that you need to play baseball. First, you have to have special shoes to wear. You need a helmet to protect your head. You gotta have a bat and a glove, and most importantly, you need a ball. The book I wanted to share with you first is called Baseball Is. It's a poetry style picture book by Louise Borden and illustrated by Raul Colon. This has great pictures and it tells you all about the sport. So it starts off with Baseball Is. It's a game and it's the sport of America. It shows you pictures of the baseball diamond, a pitcher and a bat. There's lots of things that go on with baseball. There are the fans and the people. You got to see the information on a glove. And then there's the scoreboard. More of the fans. And then you have the umpires who are like the referees of the game. And then you have the players. There are lots of famous players. And this book even has a special fold-out section that tells you about some of the favorites. You'll have to look in it and see who it's about. So here's a couple questions. Have you ever been to a baseball field before? Was it bigger than you thought it would be? If you like the sport, what position is your favorite? There's another book I want to share with you, and it's called Play Ball. This book is by Jorge Posoda. It's illustrated by Raul Colon as well. In this book, it's a picture book as well, and it shows and tells the story of Jorge as a young child in Puerto Rico. His father wanted him to be a switch hitter. That means that he can hit the ball from either side of the plate. So his father told him he had to practice and practice and practice, lots of practice if he wanted to make his dreams come true. It shows him and it tells a story about how much he was driven to be the best that he could be. He dreamed of playing at Yankee Stadium where he was able to go and visit when he was a child. It's one of the most famous baseball stadiums in the country. Do you think he was able to make it to the majors? Do you think he got to play at Yankee Stadium? Do you know any other famous baseball players? You'll have to read this book and find out. The next book I have for you is called The Kid from Diamond Street, the extraordinary story of the baseball legend Edith Houghton. It's written by Audrey Vernick and illustrated by Stephen Salerno. This book tells the story of Edith who was born on Diamond Street. She was the youngest of nine kids, or 10 children. She was born in 1912, and she was basically born with a baseball in her hand. She would play in any field she could. She loved everything about the game and dreamed of playing. She was able to try out for a team called the Philadelphia Bobbies. It shows her here when she was only 13 and she was able to play with an all women's league. They toured the country playing all sorts of games. Then they had an opportunity to travel across the world. She left her family and traveled all the way to Japan to play baseball. What a special treat that is. She had her teammates to help look after her and teach her how to be away from home. When she returned home, she was very excited to be back with her family. The end of this book also has a note from the author about Edith and it shows real pictures from her childhood. Do you think there are lots of women athletes? Have you heard of Monet Davis? She was a little league pitcher, and she was actually from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania as well. 
You'll have to read more of this book and see if you can find out what happens with Edith. I hope you enjoyed looking at these three books with me and that you choose to go find more books from the library on baseball. Thanks and have a good night.